I am. I'm the co-chair of the diversity committee at this time because, you know, <clears throat> despite our best efforts, we're getting to a point of diminishing employment by women and minorities in television, which is very frustrating to me because I don't think it should be going lower. I don't understand why it should be going lower. And sometimes the networks will say, well, that's because there are fewer people to choose from. And I say, well, the way the DGA works is you can choose anyone. I can make you a director on a network series or anyone that I want to that I think has the skills that I find out, then they must become a DGA member. So it's not the DGA. You can choose anyone in the world. They'll become a DGA member when you give them a job. So I don't understand why it should diminish. Are you not like meeting people? Are you not making the efforts? Because are there not really talented women directors? And my real feeling is that people just don't like new people. They just don't want to try new people. They want to try the same old people because the same old people deliver for them and they can keep their jobs and there's a security in the sameness. But it's not really helping the, the place evolve. The shows that have been the most successful on television actually right now are the most diverse. Ugly Betty, ER to this day. Even Desperate Housewives, I mean, those shows, Cold Case, that's the, all the Bruckheimer shows have been the most diverse behind the scenes and they are the most successful television shows. And the most diverse you know, in front of the camera in many cases too. So, I mean, that's their lesson. When I first started out back in the old days, I used to not be open about being gay, and therefore I got into some uncomfortable predicaments like the stuff in high school where you have to hear people disparaging gay people and you have to sort of like smile and go along with it because you don't want people to know what your story is. But, you know, that wasn't really working for me. So I, I made an effort, and I was taught this by a friend who said, here's, here's a good strategy. If you're open about who you are, then people, and it doesn't if you're gay or whatever you are, if you're open about whatever it is, people who don't want to work with you, they won't call you, okay? People who do want to work with you and think that's an advantage for their particular show, they will call you. And people who don't care will call you. So that will protect you from working with the assholes who do care, and it also encourage the people who think it's an asset or don't care to go for you, so why not? So, and that has proven to be the case. I mean, people like John Wells and the people that I've worked with, the David Milches and the Steven Botchkos, it's been a total non-issue. And I would become a producer very much like that when I have a huge empire, where it would be a non-issue as well. I mean, you would just choose people by, on the basis of their talent and not on their sexuality or the color of their skin or, or their gender. I mean, it's just, it's, to me, it's the same thing as, you know, right now I'm really fighting the woman battle, too, with the DGA because women apparently can't direct crews of men for some unknown reason is a general perception. I don't know where this came from. There's just a fear that, I don't know, women in charge are going to make people cry or they're going to cry or I don't know what people are thinking. And I'm really out to dispel that. I'm out to dispel those prejudices and I'm out, out to be an example that you can just be who you are and still be the captain of the ship. So get over it. Not as much as I would like, um, because if I, if I had experienced more overt racism, I'd be able to use the stories as learning experiences. But, you know, I really haven't. And it's, um, it's uh, because I've heard about it, but I haven't really, I'm trying to think if I have, can, can even think of a direct example of racism that I've heard. I really haven't heard that. Much more racism in the career I was in before in advertising than in now. I mean, I, I just don't. That hasn't been my experience in Hollywood. And I'm really grateful for that. Tokenism, it's hard to tell what's really tokenism. I mean, it's hard to tell if when, when I first was beginning my career, I was being hired so they could have one black director that they knew wouldn't screw up the show. It's just hard to tell that. I don't know about that. That's a good question. Um, I do know that when I'm a producer on a show, I definitely try to mix it up as much as possible. So I'm probably guilty of employing tokens, but I, they turn out to be the people that I know are going to be successful. And so everyone's surprised.